So I'm here at Boston Market where we're going to pick up our Thanksgiving dinner. Um, if you didn't order ahead of time, this is the line that you would have to wait in. So luckily we did pre-order, so I'm gonna go ahead and get in that line. Here at the Boston Market, this is the short line where if you got a pre-packaged meal, you can wait and get it assembled out of the back of a truck. It's almost my turn. We have the half boneless honey glazed ham. And then starting from the top, we have your half dozen dinner rolls, your receipt, you have your pumpkin pie, 12 ounces of cranberry walnut relish, cracker some spinach artichoke dip, uh, mashed potatoes, stuffing, uh, gravy, and then your uh, spinach, spinach artichoke dip there for you. And that'll be everything for you. Looks amazing. Hey amigos, welcome home. We are doing our unboxing of our Boston Market deluxe family meal. It was $89.99 and it serves four to six people. So it comes with an appetizer, which we got spinach artichoke dip, so they gave us some crackers, and this huge container of spinach artichoke dip. Our meal. So the meat we chose was ham, and it's a honey glazed ham. And this is a majority of it. We cut some of it off to heat and serve because this is way too much for just the three of us, but it looks amazing. So the sides came in these containers. I think they're maybe 32 ounces. So we only took half out because there's only three of us. And we put this in this container. So we have a vegetable stuffing and it has onions and carrots and I think some celery. And then you could get mac and cheese or mashed potatoes. We opted for the mashed potatoes. And it also comes with some gravy. And the part I'm looking forward to the most is this pumpkin pie. It came with six rolls, so we heated up a few of those, and then we just brought in some butter and some cranberry sauce. And this is our ham that we're going to eat, and we added a little bit of orange juice just to give it a little kick and um, reheated it. Amigos, to supplement our Thanksgiving meal from Boston Market, which came with ham, I decided to make a turkey breast. And I'm so excited, I had to show you. It's rosemary apricot glazed, mmm. So I've sliced it up, it's an apricot glazed turkey. Happy Thanksgiving, Duke. Shay, good boy. Mmm, Duke loves his Boston Market Deluxe Thanksgiving feast. Oh yeah. You ready for a ride? Hey amigos, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I know uh, not everyone can be home for Thanksgiving, so I'm really grateful that I could spend it with Justine and my mom, Bree, and our baby, Duke. Especially being in Orlando, I mean, this afternoon was like 80s. Oh yeah, it was warm. Uh, but right now, once the sun went down, I'd say it's, it's got a, it feels like 70 and man, am I glad I live in Orlando. <laughs> it's a beautiful place to be, especially in the fall, and it's nice to have yeah. that warm weather. So one of our favorite things to do after we fill our bellies on Thanksgiving is to do a little Black Friday shopping. We noticed this year that most places are closed on Thanksgiving, and they'll open probably like 7 a.m. on Friday, on Black Friday, which I think it was originally the point. Anyway. Um, we're really glad that all of the people who work retail are able to get Thanksgiving off. So we hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving and we may check some things out tomorrow bright and early. So tune in next week. Dias amigos, it is the day. It's Black Friday. I think it is. Um, All right, we're here to get in line. Oh, this is the line. There is no line. Maybe there was one at 7 a.m. when they opened. Well, let's see, maybe it's crowded inside. Remy, take us somewhere good. Good morning. How are you? It is good to take. These are clean and ready to go. All right, 
So Target was a bit of a bust. I think the whole point of 2020 Black Friday was to reduce crowds and they were very successful at that. So we're gonna see if there's actually some Black Friday deals at this store here, Cavender's Boot City. This is my Western look. I have my straw hat, which Seth recommended. Um, it's 30% off the hat. I think it goes down to like $49.99. And this is a Wrangler short sleeve button up. It's on clearance, so it's an additional 30% off. I want to say it was marked down to 20, so I'll probably get it for about $14.99. Dang, looking good. Ow, ow. Um, I'm steaming it so that I can shape it because the straw here, you gotta get it like warm so that when I'm moving it around, I'm not cracking it. Because if I crack it, then your lacquer that's on top is gonna be destroyed and therefore your straw is gonna fade and you're gonna have these weird waves in your hat. So the steam loosens everything up so that I can shape it properly. <coughs> These both came from the buy one, get one rack, um, and they're already on clearance. <laughs> this is part of the deal too, buy one, get one. Um, probably different shoes though. What? You wouldn't wear these black skater shoes? Amigos, welcome to downtown Orlando. We're actually at the Amway Center where the Orlando Magic play. If you've noticed, Remy's shirt today has been Orlando Magic. We stopped by Whole Foods to get a little bit of a snack. What'd you get, Justine? I got the turkey and cheddar croissant sandwich. So let's see, that was, oh, was that on sale? No, nah, that one was $5, but Remy knows the sales. He got the vegan wrap. <laughs> so while it was $8, I think it ended up being maybe like $5.50. Welcome to the Amway Center. This is the Orlando Magic team store. They're all decked out for Christmas. And there's some really great Black Friday deals going on here today. 30% um, off everything. And then if you spend $25, you get a free plush. If you spend $50, you get a free glossy basketball. And if you spend um, $75, you actually get a free jersey. So we're gonna see if we can do a little bit of shopping in here today. And I wanted to point out my favorite item which is Stuff, the Orlando Magic mascot. And it looks like he is in a little reindeer costume. So cute, $15.95. Also, we just found out that the season is starting again on December 22nd. So I'm so excited we have our Magic team back at the Amway Center. Last season they had to play most of it at ESPN Wide World of Sports. All right, amigos, the door busters at the Magic Team Store were fire. Um, like Justine said, for every 25 you spent, you get a free stuff plush. So we got our plush. It's authentic NBA. Uh, I know exactly who this is going for. On the road from the Amway Center is Tinker Field. I believe capacity is over 70,000, but there's no collegiate or professional team that plays here. So there's three bowl games I know in December, and then I know they do, they do concerts here, but besides that, the grounds just sit empty. I just learned about Joe Tinker, and he was a professional baseball player on the Chicago Cubs. He's also a real estate developer, um, and he built Tinker Field, uh, which was supposedly a baseball field since 1914. But in 1923, he built the field with an all wood um, stadium, and it sat 1,500 fans. Um, and we've just learned that it was to bring spring training to Orlando. And um, on some of the signs here, you can learn about the different teams throughout the years who have participated in spring training here. Um, so the baseball diamond still exists out on Tinker Field, and it sits right next to the new Camping World Stadium. Hey, amigos. Got back from Black Friday shopping. And I would say that the sales were, they were typical of a normal um, Black Friday. Um, the crowds were definitely not there. Yeah, it was not a normal Black Friday. There was like no chaos. There was no craziness, which I guess I actually kind of enjoyed knowing I could go to get some sales and didn't have to like elbow people to like get the last size medium or whatever we we're trying to get. Um, but it was still nice to be able to do the Christmas shopping. Hey, Duke. Bye, amigos. Hasta luego.